thought this would be fun. Um, and I know I already filmed the actual tour, shop tour, but uh, I think I already, I think I mentioned it in the actual video. Uh, I had a bunch of people ask me like, show us a, a shop tour or like a studio tour. And I, I was like, you know, it's a mess. And so I want you to keep in mind that uh, today's Friday. I'm getting ready to do a live feed. It's currently about 5 p.m. Um, I did on Wednesday, I filmed all day and edited, sharpened, worked on stuff, took the kid to skating and back and, uh, and, and stuff like that. And then yesterday, Thursday, I mean, we ran a live feed till like three o'clock in the morning. And then I woke up at 6.30. I woke up at 6.30 on Thursday and took my kid to the doctor, filmed all day, edited all day, worked on stuff, got stuff ready, uh, thinking out stuff I wanted to do, going through, testing knives, filming. Uh, you guys will see that. I did a cut test um, on a bunch of stuff. I had a ton of cardboard and I, I broke it up into a, into a, I filmed at least one. I think that was the, uh, the Firebird knives. And so then, you know, and then worked until midnight filming, editing, doing stuff and, and, and figuring things out and shooting some shorts that I can pre-upload and, and making sure that those are the way I want them. So I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm saying. So the shop is a mess. Like my studio is a mess. It usually gets cleaned up uh, typically on Sunday. I'll clean everything up. I take that in a green screen. The kid and I watch TV and stuff during the day. And so when I do these things, you know, my wife's doing laundry out here right now. Um, so there's certain things like people are like, oh, I bet like your pod, you need to get a podcast desk or a live feed desk. And I was like, I just don't think I could do it. Not the way I'm currently running things. Um, I mention it in the video. Uh, yeah, I am carrying this. I mentioned it in the video that you're about to see the little thing that, um, I just couldn't, it, this, sh I don't have dedicated sp parts of this garage other than just the area that's here. Well, I mean, pretty much I'm taking up the entire garage. I couldn't do it any other way. So you're going to see how I set up my podcast and live feed stuff. It, it's, it's basically milk crates and, uh, it's like Legos. So I've turned this into a studio that I can use for me. And I'm happy about it. And I'm, I'm kind of taking it from uh, something that Adam Savage said in a video. Like people come in and they say, oh, his cave, like where he does his one day builds. They're like, it's so crowded and so busy and so cluttered. And he's like, yeah, but it's it's set up for me. And I think I'm kind of got the studio at this point where I want it. It's good for me. I can do everything I want, including sharpening and work and turn this into a, it's basically I've turned it into a livable space and I'm out here. I think I mentioned it 90, I would say 90% of the time. The only time I'm not in the studio or shop uh, is when I'm uh, either taking my daughter somewhere, sleeping uh, or eating. And, I'll, and a lot of times I eat out here uh, because that the more time I spend out here, the more that goes on in my head and stuff like that. So typically this stuff is reserved for the paying members, but a bunch of people asked. So you guys get a shop tour. So here we go. Here comes Mike from about 45 minutes ago to take you on a shop tour. I had a handful of people ask about the studio. And so this is basically how the studio is set up. I do have the TV and stuff because to, to tell you the truth, I spend 99% of my time out here. It's in my garage. Coffee pot, PS5 that I traded a knife for, my little arcade stuff here. And then this is still, this is still part of the house. So we have all the shoe shelves and stuff. And our, our pantry, but this is my studio predominantly, and I spend a lot of time out here. So we've got the thing. Now, a lot of people ask me, is like, oh, well, you know, I bet it would be more stable and you'd have less jiggle and stuff like that if you just had a workbench or a desk. And I, I, I like to say yes, but the way I have the lighting set up, and I'm, I'm in the process, guys, of soundproofing all of this. But <clears throat> so I do work here, I film here, um, and I sharpen here. And the fact is, if I put a workbench right here or a, or a desk, it would have to be something that I could take apart and it would have to be something that would be modular. So the fact is that like to do it, this is just basically the same way. And I mean, we bought all these milk crates. These aren't like these aren't milk crate milk crates that like you would get from a, a dairy or anything. These are just milk crates that we got uh, for for use. We, we bought them because they're nice and they stack. But the thing is, it's really nice because I can just it's like Legos. So I can take this from podcast studio to green screen up here where I'm filming and then take the green screen down because I have a love seat and stuff out here. We do use this like a living room. We don't have a TV in the house. And then I can go right back to filming videos um, 
where I can move back and forth from here to here. And I know it's jiggly, I don't have a truck, but I can go from here to here. So I film the intro and outro here. And then I go right over here and I just drag my tripod there over here and I set it up against and we look at it from above and it's just, it's so much easier this way. And then everything I'm reviewing is on these shelves. Um, this is all stuff that came in from Jared for review. This is stuff that's currently in for sharpening, um, including that box up there. And then this is just all various things that I would use. These are knives that are in a current process of review. These are tools and solvents and things like that. This is stuff that goes along with it. This is usually where giveaway stuff sits. Uh, this is just random stuff since I'm out here all the time. I got some glue. <laughs> I get heartburn real easy. I've got Pepto-Bismol. Down here is stuff that came in from Jared and thanks for my buddy, um, my buddy Tino. And then there's boxes of stuff here that's in for review. And, and then just like general stuff you'd find in a garage. I have a set of shelves with tools and stuff on it. And it's a mess because I had to move stuff around to get into it, get to get the drain snake because my daughter clogged the upstairs toilet. My weights are here because I still do work out. Um, so, it, I mean, it's basically I've turned this garage into a studio that I can use and it's modular. And using the milk crates has provided me with an option of, of being able to move these around because these three milk crates... Go right back up there on top. You see where that those ones are? Not these ones, those ones. They go right back on top of them. And if we need to use them for something, for storage, dry storage, it's fine. I have other ones that I can use. Um, and these three typically sit right next to the love seat over here where the cat or the dog usually is. So I'm trying to keep my license plate out of the thing. My wife's real big about privacy. I'm gonna blur that in the uh, video, but yeah, I'm trying to, it's a pain in the ass to blur stuff. So when you look at it from this direction, then we've got, you know, just general stuff that's out here. This is just general storage of stuff we don't typically use. Um, and there's stuff back here. There's belts for my grinder for knife making. There's folding chairs, extra lights, my boxing bag. Um, and then there's a love seat here that we use because, <clears throat> like I said, this gets turned right into a, into a living room for where me and my daughter watch TV. And then just general stuff. We have a pantry and all that. So... Yeah, I would love to be able to just have a dedicated studio for the podcast and for the lives and stuff like that. But at this point, this suits my purposes and the fact that I have the green screen and I learned how to do the edit and all that stuff. It just makes it easier. It, the thing that does suck is – and I know this is a mess. I was cleaning up and I dropped when I knocked the trash can over. But I only really have one outlet over here. I have two. There's one right there. And there's one right there. So if I was going to buy a house and build an actual studio, I would have a lot of outlets because I basically I have to run uh, extension cords all around here um, from there to there. Uh, and I have to use them for everything. So including powering my computer, which if I happen to be doing some sharpening, what I'll do is I'll take the computer and I'll upload a video and I'll get it ready and I'll have it all set. And I just take the entire computer. And I bring it over here and it sits on the shelf and then I just open it up and I can check the status. This is where all of my video, the computer, my video equipment, uh, other than the tripod, the sound equipment, everything, my headphones, my microphones, all that stuff, that's not supposed to be there, sits in here. And so what I'll do is I'll put the computer in here, just leave it sit open so it doesn't turn off, um, run the power to it, and then I will upload a video and then go over here and do stuff on my workbench, sharpening or Looking at a knife, because you know, there's a lot of times that when you are you get a new knife in, that first little bit, those first impressions is, uh, you know, how's it feel in hand and stuff like that. So there's a lot of times that that all gets thrown in. So this is just a little video I just ate. I have some of these out here because I just ate and I was flossing my teeth because I eat here as well because the fact is the more time I spend here, the more work I get done. Set your shop up the way you would want it to be. Oh, I got to put that back in my pocket. I had it out because I was messing around with this um but if you set your shop up the way you want or your studio or however you want to do it whatever you want to call it you set it up how you would want it and it is cluttered it's not the way i want it but if you have your studio set up or your workspace or whatever you want to talk about set up the way you want it you're more inclined to spend more time there and i'm always out here so there you go guys just a quick little video this is nothing big uh just wanted to kind of i had people ask and then like i said and then when i'm doing my sharpening just to be modular all of my straps are in here and test equipment like test cut test media and then over here are all my sharpening stones and so i keep i keep my oil stones separate uh down here and i make sure it's really good and clean there's no oil there's no oil in here at all 
Um, and then one of the other big things is, is having all your stuff in one central location, like my water glass that sits there. All my, I just knocked everything over. So all my lubricants, my strop compound, and all my tools are right here. Well, my lubricants have fallen over. Um, we actually had an earthquake, that might be part of it. Um, so all of that stuff is here. My KPL, my lubricants, my tools, uh, rags, of course, one of the most important things, liquid bandages, uh, that MTech that stays here so there's no other real knives on this shelf so it can't contaminate any of the others. Um, can koozie that was a gift, remotes for my lights, and then little peripheral tools, uh, pins, uh, you know, highlighters, leads for that, extra tools, stuff like that. So all this stuff is set up exactly where I want it because I know exactly where everything is. So yeah, there you go. And I even, I haven't even gotten rid of this thing yet. So there you go, guys. Just a little walk around. There you go. There's some stuff up here. This is all stuff that's pretty much in the the process of review that is in and out of pocket um, unless it's currently there because it's getting looked at. So, all right, guys. <laughs> just a little shop tour. Mm -hmm.